Merck just released its COVID pills. Is Merck stock a buy? Hey, it's Linus here. In this video, I'll be sharing with you my Merck stock analysis. So we'll be first taking a look at some of the fundamentals for Merck, and then I'll share with you my technical analysis of Merck stock. Right, so we'll begin first by taking a look at Merck's fundamentals. Merck's revenue has been steadily increasing over the years. So if we take a look at 2016, revenue for Merck in 2016 is $39 billion. In 2017, it's $40 billion. 2018, $42 billion. 2019, 46 billion, and 2020 was 47 billion. So we see that there is a steady increase in Merck's revenue throughout the years from 2016 to 2020. And the next one we'll take a look at is gross profit. So gross profit for 2016 was 26 billion, 2017 was 27 billion, 2018 was 29 billion, 2019 it was 33 billion, and in 2020 it was 34 billion. So gross profit similar to revenue has been steadily increasing throughout the years. So far, the top line numbers for Merck has been pretty good. The next one we'll take a look at is operating income. So if we take a look at operating income over here, operating income for 2016 was $4.8 billion. 2017, it was $6 billion. 2018, it was $8.3 billion. In 2019, it was $11.6 billion. And in 2020, it was $7.9 billion. So operating income for Merck has been steadily increasing throughout the years with the exception of 2020. From 2019 to 2020, there's a decline of operating income by about $4 billion. So why was there a steep drop in operating income from 2019 to 2020? If we take a look over here, total operating expenses was $40 billion in 2020, while it was only $35 billion in 2019. So there was a steep increase in operating expenses from 2019 to 2020 compared to other years. So what accounted for this increase in operating expenses? If we take a look over here, it was because of the R&D expense. So in 2019, R&D expense was only $9.6 billion. But in 2020, R&D expense increased by almost $4 billion. So while revenue and gross profit increased from 2019 to 2020, the increase in R&D and total operating expenses from 2019 to 2020 was faster. And that is why we see operating income in 2020 declining substantially from 2019. The next one we'll take a look at is net income. So net income is over here. Net income for Merck was $3.9 billion in 2016, $2.3 billion in 2017, $6.2 billion in 2018, 9.8 billion in 2019 and 7 billion in 2020. So those are some of the annual results for Merck. Now let's take a look at quarterly results. While quarterly results might fluctuate because of seasonality, quarterly results do provide us with a more up-to-date and recent performance of the company. For Merck's revenue this year, quarterly revenue has been quite steady. So it was 12.5 billion over here, 10.6 billion and 11.4 billion in the latest reported quarter. For net income, Net income is negative 2 billion over here because of the increase in operating expenses in the first quarter of this year. Then net income was 3.1 billion in the next quarter and in the latest reported quarter, net income was 1.5 billion dollars. So that's a quick overview of some of Merck's fundamentals. Now let's take a look at Merck's stock chart. This is the stock chart for Merck stock. So if we take a look on this day over here, from this day to this day, prices get up a lot. So it started from around $75, it get up all the way to $81. That's close to a 10% gap up in just one day. So what happened on the 1st of October 2021? If we take a look at this article over here, this article was released on the 1st of October. And on this day, it was announced that Merck's oral antiviral pill, basically this is Merck's COVID pill. So it mentions that this COVID pill managed to reduce the risk of hospitalization or death by approximately 50% compared to placebo for patients with mild or moderate COVID cases. So I'm not an expert in this coffee health issues, but I think this news is definitely a positive sign for our battle with the pandemic. And that is why you see on the 1st of October on Merck's stock chart, Merck's stock managed to gap up by almost 10% over here. But you can see that as prices gap up and reaching an intraday high of almost $84, there was selling pressure which pushed Merck stock price all the way back down to around $81. And you can see that on that day, there was heavy selling volume. And it wasn't just for that day and that candlestick. You can take a look at a subsequent trading session. Merck stock price declined from around $83 to $84 all the way back down to this price of around $77. So this is a classic case of buy the rumor, sell the news. So the theory goes that if you are looking to buy a stock, you want to buy the stock before the actual news come out, which means buy on the rumors and then once the actual news come out, you sell on the news, which is what we saw over here. So prices retrace all the way back to here. Prices over here at this candlestick close just below the high of this candlestick over here. So prices almost retrace all of the gap up over here. And we take a look at this price level of around $78.44. This level has been a previous area of resistance, right? So prices encountered resistance over here, over here and over here. So once prices broke above this resistance, the resistance becomes a support. And if you take a look over here, prices undercut the support level over here and then it reverses back up. So should you buy Merck stock now? 
If everything goes well for Merck's COVID pills, it is likely that we'll see an improvement in Merck's financials in the next few quarters and moving forward. But with that said, we don't want to buy just based on fundamentals alone. We want to have at least some fundamentals, but we want to see that fundamentals being confirmed by the technical action of the price chart for Merck stock. So between where we are currently at at around $81 to this price level of around $84, I'd like to see Merck stock tighten up a bit over here on the right side before it breaks above this price level of $84. If Merck stock is able to do that, then it will provide a good foundation for us to look to buy Merck stock. So that's my Merck stock analysis. Hopefully you have enjoyed and learned something from this video. If you did, smash that like button as always because it will really help the channel grow and it will really go a long way for me. And if you are new to this channel and haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe to this channel because each week I release new videos about investing, trading and the stock market. I'll see you in those other videos to your financial success.